Hello there, so on Business Central today we are going to go through deferrals and what we're going to do is on the demo we're going to show you how to set the code up in the chart of accounts we're going to show you how to create the template we're then going to add the code and the new column onto the sales invoice we're then going to show you how to um, alter the deferral payments which Business Central automatically does for you and then we're going to show you the sales deferral reports um, and look at the deferral postings on that so if we just jump over to Business Central now, and as I said, the first thing we need to do is check the chart of accounts and make sure that the deferral code exists. So we can um, just jump here, put deferred revenue, and we can see here we do already have one existing. So if we just go into that record and show you the makeup of it, we have the number and the description, and we have the chose the balance sheet, the account categories, liabilities, and the account type is posting. The next thing that we need to do is make sure that we have a deferral um, schedule set up. So if we just put deferral in the template, we can see here we already do have one called 12 month sales deferral. But if we just go into the makeup of that as well, again, you give it a code description and you must link it to the code that we've already set up in the chart of accounts. And then for this schedule, I'm choosing 100% and over 12 months, but you can obviously choose it to however many months you need. The calculation method is straight line, the start date is from the posting date, and you can give it a description as well. Um, the final thing you need to do on the sales invoice is, is add the column. So if we just go into sales and sales invoice, and we're just going to choose this invoice here. What we can now do is go into personalize, more, and then add a field, and we're just going to click into the area we want here and we're just going to search for deferred revenue and you can see here we have a code and I'm just going to add this to the end here I'm going to press done and now if we just go to the end here we can see we have a new column called deferral code so I'm just going to fill out the rest of this invoice now for you I'm just going to choose an item and the quantity and finally we need to choose the um, 12 month sales um, schedule that we created earlier that's now added that so if we just click back onto the line here and go into more options line related information and deferral schedule you can see here that the total of the invoice is 246 pounds 60 and because we cho um, chose 12 months business central has gone through and cr um, create the payments for the 12 months based on the total now you can actually change these, but you just need to remember that it does need to get to the £246.60 overall. So we're just going to leave that to the default. And what we can now do is go to post the invoice, like so. And we're just going to go into the sales invoice here and just take this number here. And I'm just going to jump over to sales and then post to sales invoices now. And we're just going to give that one a search. And what we can do here is we can actually um, navigate the invoice. So we just go into actions and navigate. And we can see here we have the postings for the deferred revenue. Like so. Now the other thing I mentioned at the uh, PowerPoint was that there's also a report that you can uh, view as well. So if we just go into the search and just search for sale deferral. We have something here called sales deferral summary. This is a core um, business central report. So if we just put the um, document number in here and we can change the balance as of and um, change that if we want. I'll just give that a preview now. And we can see here, we've got our invoice and we've got the uh, deferral amount deferred left, which is 184 pound. And the total is 246 pound. So that's just a brief kind of um, way of setting up the deferrals but, um, on the sales invoice. Hopefully this has been uh, beneficial for you and if there are any questions or you are interested in Business Central, please do get in touch with the following website, email and phone number. Thank you.